This is Mr. Melendez, and this video is going to be a read aloud on Mr. Ray Elliott, the Tuskegee Airmen, quotes one and two. So as I mentioned in my previous video for today's lesson, is that I'm going to be developing two separate videos, and they're both read alouds, one for Ray Elliott and one for Chester Nez. So make sure that you pay close attention and read along as I'm um, reading out loud these two quotes. I'm going to be sending you a PowerPoint, and the PowerPoint is pretty much your passport book. When you open up the PowerPoint, go ahead and go to slide 133. 133 is the actual documents that you're going to be reading about Ray Elliott. Slide 134 is for Chester Nez. All right, so let's go ahead and read the quotes. So quote one, division was a double V victory sign, and every time we saw each other, we gave that. And that gave us courage and hope and patience because what we decided was that we had two wars to win. And once we finished the war against the fascists and then we would be home, we'll fight against racism. So the double V victory was going to be when we get back to this country, we would fight for racism. Now, what that did was against racism, that unified us, that brought us together with a common goal. A common cause so we became more focused on how we were going to fight racism when we got back and one of the big things we felt was we're gonna take advantage of the GI Bill and get our education and that's the way we're gonna fight fight it when we get back all right so just a couple of things the double V victory sign think of it like making the peace sign with your two fingers except they held up with both hands and that would look like two V's. That's the double V victory sign. The second thing that it mentions at the end of the quote, it says that they were going to take advantage of the GI Bill. The GI Bill is something that the military gives. It's basically a program that allows military veterans to use to go to school. Exactly what I did when I retired from the military. I went back to college and I used my GI Bill to pay for my college. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to quote two. I'm going to go ahead and move up this quote so I can read it properly. Okay. All right, here we go. I was in combat. I was not in combat in any time during my service, in the service. Most of the time I spent in this country or a large part of it. I was in Biloxi, Mississippi. And we were told that whenever you go into in town, go together. I went in by myself one time, and I drifted into the white community. I panicked. I started looking for a bus stop. This old man came over, and he looked very, very serious, and he said to me, Step down there, and he pointed to the gutter. And I had my uniform on, and uh, I said, Why did you tell me to step down there in the gutter? As he was yelling at me, all these people that were around waiting for the bus, they came forward. And they started almost surrounding me, you know. And he was raising his voice in anger and rage. What are you doing in this area? Are you up to no good? You've been up to something. You've done something. And so I started walking away and I was walking. They start following me. And I finally realized how it felt. Finally felt how black folks, when they were being chased by a lynch mob. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Melendez. This is the end of the read aloud. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or visit my or Miss Sonia's office hours. Take care, everyone. This is Mr. Melendez, punching out.